Shame. 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 What the heck? Welcome to King's Landing. What is up guys? Welcome to another video on Experiences Junkie. My name is Shravan and I'm in the beautiful city of Dubrovnik. I am in Dubrovnik. I'm sure you heard of it now that most of you guys watched uh, Game of Thrones. I have arrived here last night, this morning, woke up and I'm right now heading for kayaking. So stay tuned for more. I just kayaked from the old town and headed to this beautiful cave. Uh, you can see right now there is a Adriatic Sea behind me and all these beautiful caves around me. It's a very good spot to chill for like 30 minutes and do a bit of snorkeling, take some good photos. Maybe next time if I come, I'll do the sunset kayaking, seeing the sun setting down whilst sitting in the kayak in the middle of the sea. I just uh, got out of the snorkeling, it was really <laughs> exhilarating, the water was amazing, ah, it was a much needed dip in the water. So after the kayaking, I'm heading to the old town. In the old town, it's very hilly, so there are a lot of stairs in the city. It's really beautiful, a lot of restaurants around this place, gelato nice so currently I'm in the old town I'm walking on the most famous street called Stradun it is actually a very charming pedestrian street with a lot of uh, uh, designer stores souvenir shops restaurants it's really like hustle bustle even in the nights it's bustling a lot of uh, tourists coming around even the locals come up to this place take a stroll It's about like 30, 31 degrees. So my friend Suresh and I, we're gonna fill the water at uh, a very large fountain called Onofrios Fountain. Uh, it's really at the center of the old town. Hey guys, so when in Dubrovnik, I would recommend everybody to get Dubrovnik Pass. Uh, that's because uh, it saves you time and money. Uh, for instance, if you buy a city wall pass alone, it costs 35 bucks and the Dubrovnik Pass itself is 35. But with Dubrovnik Pass, you can also visit Rector's Palace, several other museums, galleries, etc. So it actually makes sense to get that. You can buy it either in the touristic centers or also online so so after the monastery i have arrived to the jesuit stairs as you can see it is behind me it's most famous for uh, the game of thrones scenes uh, where cersei performed her walk of shame or walk of atonement there are a lot of people around uh, probably like me trying to do the walk to wash all this thing. All right, man. Just sweet hey, stairs. Are you ready to do your uh, walk of atonement? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> A few moments later. Hey, man. How do you feel? You feel purified? I'm wearing full sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think that answer. I was just at a square where there's a nice open market scene 
people selling jewelry, handmade magnets. I stopped by actually to buy some earrings. There's a really nice uh, lady selling some handmade stuff which has flowers inside the jewelry. So yeah, I mean, they were really friendly and uh, it's like a startup and just wanted to support them. And I also buy something for my special lady. Hi. Hello, welcome to Dubrovnik. This is the Gundulic Square where you can find us. We are Vicious Delicious Jewelry. So in here we transform Dubrovnik nature into jewelry and it's all done by hand by my sister and I. So we use only the real flowers and epoxy resin and they come either from the local forest or what we have in the garden. So thank you. I'm at Logia Square and uh, right in front of St. Blaise's Church. As you can see, this square is very big. Yeah, you can see pretty much the entire old town from this place. But before that, have a look at this church. It looks majestic from the outside. A beautiful dome on the top. Let's go inside. Behind me is yet another famous building in Dubrovnik. It's called Sponza Palace, aka Divona. Uh, it's one of the very few buildings that survived after the 1667 earthquake. So behind me is Rector's Palace or Duke's Palace. It was built in the 13th century but it went, underwent a lot of reconstructions because it was uh, destroyed during a lot of explosions, earthquakes, but they still managed to rebuild it. It's part of uh, Dubrovnik's uh, rich heritage. So if you remember in one of the scenes of Game of Thrones, Daenerys Targaryen, she visits Spice King of Ka to ask for his ships. Actually that scene happened inside the courtyard. So let's go inside and see if we can get some ships. Alright, here comes the Spice King of Ka. You got any spices for me or ships? So right now I'm at Martin Richig's statue. He's also one of the famous uh, writers in Croatia. He's called the Shakespeare of Dubrovnik. And if you come here and rub his nose, it's gonna get you a lot of happiness and good luck. So yeah, no wonder you see the nose being worn out. So right now I'm at uh, Graz Kaluka. It's right outside the Loce Gate. Uh, it's also called as the Old Port. Probably a few centuries ago, a lot of ships used to dock here and get into the old town. It looks really nice. It's right outside Great Waltz. Uh, I am on top of the Fort uh, Lovrienak. Uh, if you want great aerial view of the old town but don't want to go too far away, this is the best part to be. Some of you might recognize this place with uh, the, the Red Keep, uh, which is located in King's Land, in the capital of the Seven Kingdoms. This is also a place where the tournament was held in the name of King Joffrey in the second season. I'm about to head on top of the, wall, the city walls so I would suggest you to come here with plenty of time in hand because once you go on top it's hard to get out because there are only few exits.
So as I walk on the city walls, I see on one side beautiful views of the sea and then on the other side a spectacular looking old town. Just an interesting fact, and city walls had been built not just to protect the city from its enemies from different kingdoms and stuff but uh, the main reason was to protect from the strong waves. It's very common to see in winters that the waves are as high as 10 meters, 12 meters and over the years there were moments where even more higher than that. So I just came on top of the Mount Surge, uh, although it spells as SRD but it sounds like surge, like surgery. So yeah, to witness some of the most breathtaking panoramic views and a very beautiful sunset. As uh, Dubrovnik is a west facing city, you tend to see a lot of beautiful sunset points around where you can just walk or climb and see the sun setting down into the ocean as you just saw. After witnessing that beautiful sunset, I'm walking down from Mount Search to have dinner at Konoba Dubrava. It's a 4.8 star restaurant with 1700 reviews, local cuisine, so let's check it out. Vamos! After that great meal, I just started to walk in the old town a bit, uh, take a nice stroll and then I'm gonna go to my hotel room and crash. But I hope you really enjoyed the video and I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Peace.